Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Love Automotive. Uh, coming to you with another quick video. Uh, if any of you guys have, this is a 2014 Ford F550 Super Duty. It's got the V10 6.8 liter gas engine. This truck came in with a check engine light, had a heater circuit code for uh, bank two sensor one. So I replaced the O2 sensor, <clears throat> which is the uh, air fuel ratio sensor on the upstream. Uh, just because you know it was kind of in a hurry but after we replaced it the check engine light came back on with the same code anyway so I go down there to do some pinpoint testing and I find that the uh, 12 volt power feed from the heater circuit fuse there is a 20 amp fuse in the fuse box over here uh, first you're gonna want to check this 20 amp fuse I believe fuse number 34 which is this one in here this yellow fuse right there uh, you're gonna want to check and make sure that fuse is good uh, so I checked it, fuse is good, and uh, let me show you where the problem is. This is where we were losing our power from. If you pull up the wiring diagram, you're going to find there's a connector C140, excuse me, C145 connector. This is the computer right here, and if you look underneath, you're going to see another connector down there. That's the connector that we're looking for here. Alright, so the connector we're looking for lives underneath right here. You can see this connector. I'm going to try to get a good shot of it. And let me just show you where the problem is. Now, I don't know if this is a common issue. Uh, this is the first time I've seen it, but in case anyone else is running into this problem, I just want to show you what I found. Uh, this is the harness, and there's the AC line right underneath it. All right, so I turned my light on so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, so you see the harness, and then underneath it, you'll see the AC line. Let me go ahead and move this harness a little bit. And if you see some burn marks right there on the AC line, you can tell where these wires have been shorting out because they're actually laying on the line. Let me flip this over and show you what it looks like on the other side. So I'm gonna flip it over. And if you can see, this wire right here has been totally burned through uh, the insulation. So, that is a short to ground right here on these two wires. Again, I'm not sure if this is a common problem or not, uh, but if you're having a problem where you might be blowing the, the fuse for the heater circuit, or uh, in this case, we also had a code for a AC pressure sensor uh, circuit code. I'm not sure if that's related to it. I'll have to double check the wiring diagram and see if that wire leads to that same connector. And just to add a side note, uh, looks like this connector actually has a mounting place that holds it up and away from the AC line. 